Hello and welcome to another video from the Peak District. Uh, today I'm up in a very, very windy Stanage Edge and also very wet and muddy Stanage Edge. Now, already the view over there is looking spectacular. It's great, great viewpoint. I have parked here at the side of the road. There is a lay-by. Um, I just popped the what three words here. But the aim of today's video is to find Robin's Hood Cave, which is a small cave inside Stanage Edge, where there's actually a bit of a balcony. <laughs> it's going to offer an amazing, amazing viewpoint. Look at the wind on my air. Leave the light on low. I need some shelter from this storm. It's clouding and brewing up my side. Oh, will I ever see the light? Hey. So, just before I get to the top, I've just spotted something which is really quite interesting. So I'm just going to head over this way, just a little bit off the path, I'm going to show you. So, I featured these on the video before, but these are millstones. Now, they are a throwback to the industrial times along the, the Peak District, where there's a lot of, obviously, mills, and just these stones just dumped everywhere. There's a huge pile of them here. It's like they've just been dumped on the hillside. Okay, so let's head up and let's get on top of Stanley's Edge, shall we? Well, definitely easy ways up. I just want to be a little bit more adventurous. I'm on top now, and the views are amazing. In the distance, we've got Castleton, and you can also see Mantor, which is that mountain just there. Through the Hope Valley. Over that way, you can just about see Macclesfield. And then it's here about. Zoomed in. Yeah, there we go. See our power station? That's Nottingham. So, yeah, <laughs> you can see a long, long way from up here. Okay, so we're going to follow this way and uh, keep an eye out for Robin Hood's cave. <laughs> There's an amazing rock formation just over there. Let's go check that out. So this will be years and years of wind erosion actually rough. And also it looks like probably water erosion. <laughs> oh wow. It's down there where that coach is. That's the other car park. Now that one I think is a pain display. And uh, there's another path just to the right. So it's straight up on the other side of the edge. But we continued up that road and we drove up and we parked up there. Oh no! That was my seat! <laughs> the wind blew it! Where's he gone? <laughs> That's how windy it is today. It literally blew that straight out of my bag it was obviously it was in the side pocket so it wasn't quite fastened in but it took it it hit me <laughs> then it flew off there must be a path down yeah i think there is that's my seat to stop my bum getting muddy so it's down here somewhere because that was the rock i was on ah there he says <laughs> get back here you we don't want a soggy bottom 
Now I'm gonna have to fasten this in a bit tighter now. Let's get back up. That's exactly what I want to do today. Go rock climbing to find my seat. But I'll tell you one thing, when you're down there and you're out of the wind and that sun's on you, it's absolutely lovely. Up here, I'm just getting battered by wind. Look at this rock just balanced there like that. It's awesome. I've noticed there's a lot of people getting off that coach. So I imagine it's going to get very busy up here very soon. Which means, if I want Robin Hood's cave to myself, I better get a move on. I'll tell you now, if you've got kids that like climbing over rocks, every video, every video, what I'm trying to say is if you've got kids who enjoy climbing over rocks and jumping between rocks, etc., this is a fantastic place. Like, I'm nearly 37 and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So, imagine if I was seven. There's definitely a crowd gathering. I'm sure I've seen somewhere that Keira Knightley stood on these rocks during the filming of their Pride and Prejudice. Not too sure exactly what rocks they were, but yeah, apparently so. Sometimes nature just treats us to spectacular without knowing it's been spectacular. Let me show you this. There's a rock. Look at that. Oh, wow. What a viewpoint. That was sensational. That was a great view. Right, I think I found it. I found Robinson's case. Put somebody in there already. Uh, let's try to get down to it. Okay, so this is the way in. Duck a fair bit. This isn't too bad. Well, I've got to get underneath here, though. With a balcony. Watch these ghosts fade in light. Out of reach, out of sight. You can see as far out as Castleton over there. The mantle. And the Edale skyline. And now I think I've got some joy me. These eyes. Present the way she makes me feel alive. Alive. Now I've got to go back out of here. God, was that mate? <laughs> nice one. Bro, I am, yeah. I was right. Nice right. one, right. right. pal. Cheers. Okay, so I decided not to make the brew inside the cave uh, for two reasons. One, 
that group of us all was a school trip and they're all now waiting to get in <laughs> and two I found it a little bit overrated <laughs> never mind don't get me wrong it's nice the view's nice but the view's no nicer down there than it is on top oh and then you just got a bit shelter so I'm going to carry on I really want to try and find these rocks by keeping an eye on this one The problem I have with that plant is I know where the rocks look like to a degree but I don't know where they are so there's a lot of cliff edge along here and it could be anywhere but we'll keep looking and hopefully we'll find it soon So we know it's a rock at slopes and I'm wondering it's just there in the distance. Well, it's not that one which we thought it might be. Let's see if it's further along here. Knowing my look, I've already walked past it. It's probably at the start of the walk. I just didn't think about it. But we'll see. Let's not give up. Let's hope. So I'm pretty sure I've actually found it. Um, I'm not going to show you just yet. I'm going to hide down here shout from the wind i'm going to brew this coffee first i'm going to enjoy the coffee and then i'll share with you my kira knightley moments okay that took forever because i uh the wind kept blowing out the uh, gas stove so that's a bit annoying but are you ready now for my Q&A at the moment? Let's be honest, you want to be Kira Knightley too. So I'll take you along. I'll let you also be Kira Knightley. So there are the rocks. Not too sure why she stood at the edge of the rocks. I can only assume as Mr. Darcy dumped her or something like that. Has Mr. Darcy and Pied and Pedges? I don't know. But come on. And here we are. You can be Q and Knightley too. Well, if you've enjoyed that and you've enjoyed being Q and Knightley, then do us a favour, hit subscribe and press that thumbs up button. But that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to head back to the car now. Just going to go back the way I came. Uh, I don't fancy walking up and down steep hills, but I'm just going to go straight back across the edge. Check out these other videos where I've done some other bruise reviews. You never know, you might like them too.